Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Let me think. Where was, where were we in the last video? We were in Parker at the casino with uh, all my friends there. Met Maggie, that pretty golden retriever. My friend Moose and some other friends. But uh, I moved on down to Quartzsite. My friend Debbie and her bounder, she came down with me and uh, we're camping with some other friends. There's my friend Debbie and her bounder. Pan on around. My friend John, some of his friends, and my friend Wes. And here's Miss Gypsy with the sun behind her. So I've got another great place to camp. You see, I got my helmet out. I'm going to take Miss America off her perch and run into town. I heard you, baby May May. Man, where'd you go? I was showing everybody our campsite. Tuck, tuck. I, I want to go outside. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go right before right before I go. I need to go outside too. Hold on, I got I got to talk to the fine people about something. So I stayed out and scat and wash for two or three nights when I first got here. Usually that place is packed bumper to bumper side by side. Just kind of take just kind of take a campsite that's open and learn to like it. This time might be 20 rigs in the whole place. Court site's feeling awful quiet. But the reason I'm going into town is because I think my thermostat has given up the ghost. I was laying in bed last night and I was using the furnace to keep the RV warm because it gets kind of cold at night in the desert and my air conditioner kicked on. At first I couldn't figure out what what was going on. I was kind of halfway asleep, you know, and the furnace and the rooftop air conditioner were running at the same time. I'm no genius, but I figured chances are a thermostat's bad. So I got down and flipped the breaker. So I'm gonna get this bike off the rack, let the babies potty. Let's go into town. Y'all come with me. Okay, got Miss America off the rack, y'all. Let's go ahead and put you guys inside. Come on. Then I'm gonna go. See if I can find a thermostat for the house. That's two. I'm coming. That's three. Usually, I put the baby gate up and leave the babies back in the back when I'm gone. But uh, they couldn't be safer here if we tried. Got the air conditioning on. <laughs> but it's the only warm place in the RV is in front of this curtain on the dash. They're not panting, so they're not too hot. Nope. They're in good company. We are at the Gambler's RV Supplies and Service here in Quartzsite. We'll stop in and see if they have a thermostat that will fit Miss Gypsy. Well, Gamblers didn't have it. This nice fellow right here, he's the owner, I think. Um, he said, it's out of stock. He said half the stuff he ordered for RV supplies, uh, they wrote him back and said that uh, it's out of stock. They can't ship it to him. 
He said the medic hasn't shipped anything in months and months and months. He gave me one more place I could try. And you know what he did? He said, if you can find it online, I said, well, I don't have anywhere to, to ship it to. He said, you ship it to my P.O. box. Good guy. But now I've done business with him for a few years. Well, I just left Gambler's down there. He told me to head to RV Lifestyles. But uh, I remembered that this KMB tools up here, they have a lot of RV parts, RV supplies. But uh, they got the curtains down. I guess they're headed home. I sure hope I can make the RV place up there before they close. So there are a lot of uh, a lot of little stores popped up here in the last week or so. And these uh, these tents, they wasn't here a week, ten days ago. So looks to me like there's going to be a little bit going on here in town. I'm not sure if they're going to have the RV show. Usually the big tents right over here. So I'm not sure if they're going to have the R, uh, the big tent or the RV show this year or not. All right, get on Miss America and get on up the road. I got to get up past Love's, get up there quick before they close. Okay, well the guy down at Gamblers, he said, Kevin, he said you might try RV Lifestyles out by Love's. So let's go in there and see what they got. Yep. Well darn, he almost had the right one. The one he had was like, how can I say, it was furnace, off, air conditioner, and it said heat pump. It looked identical, identical to mine, but um, I don't know, I don't know if it'll work or not. And they're fixing to take off for the holidays, for Thanksgiving, and um, he said, when we get back in here Friday, we'll have a technician, I'll ask him, and uh, call you up and let you know. He said, I'll put this one back. I believe the guy's name was Tim. He watches the channel. Really nice guy. He's full time out here in the desert. Um, so yeah, so I, I kind of found one, kind of didn't. <laughs> of course, they're selling RVs here. Now look at these coaches right here. It kind of makes me drool, to be honest with you. I never had anything that nice. I don't know if I know how to keep it up or not. I don't know if I could know how to do the maintenance. Sometimes I kind of yearn for more luxury, but Miss Gypsy takes good care of me. Look at this old four travel right here. In her day, in her day, she was something else. I don't see any prices. But her day wasn't recent. But when you build something quality, it'll last. Like this thing did. Fifth wheels. I see a gasser down there. I'm gonna have to go. They're fixing to close up. Get back on Ms. America, get on down the road. Whew. If I was able to buy one, I don't know if I could maintain it. I don't know. I'll tell you all about a gas coach. I never had nothing this nice. Maybe one day. Get my hat on. The fella up at um, RV Lifestyles, he said, are you Kevin? The guy that uh, helped me over the counter, I think his name was Tim. So you Kevin? I said, yeah. He said, where's your hat? You don't look right. There it is. <laughs> okay, made it back to the babies. But you know what? I'm not going to let y'all go. Just yet, I'm not going to let you out. Y'all are safe. But uh, my buddy Wes, I met him out here in the road when I was pulling it on my bike. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm fixing to go for a walk. I said, well, I want to go. He said, all right, come on. So I guess I'll go ahead and end this little video right here. Uh, 
appreciate you hanging out with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And, and, you're probably going to see this on Thanksgiving Day. Go have a happy Thanksgiving. Love one another. Be good to each other. Okay, got to go. Have some turkey for me.